Hello. In this section, we're going to talk about the income statement in the master budget. We've completed the sales budget and the production budget, the direct materials purchases budget, the direct labor budget, manufacturing overhead, selling and administrative expenses, and in the last one we finish the cash budget. The next budget to be prepared is the income statement, which is already there, so we'll get rid of it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with sales, and we've already done our sales budget, so we just need to pull down the numbers from our sales budget. So we'll go up to our sales budget, which was at the very top, and there's our budgeted sales. So we'll pick that up. And then it's asking for cost of goods sold. Well, before we can do cost of goods sold, we're going to have to calculate our cost of goods sold per unit. And I've set up a section right underneath our assumptions in which to do that. Now, since we're going to be preparing an income statement for reporting purposes, we're going to use full costing, which means we will include fixed overhead in our calculation. Now, direct materials per unit we can get from our materials purchases budget that we did at the very beginning. And we calculated that um, it would cost us, actually we're going to use our assumptions, that we, it's gonna, we would take two pounds for each unit and each of those pounds costs a dollar forty, so therefore our direct material cost would be two eighty. Direct labor, we said, and we can use our assumptions again, was direct labor was each unit would take one and a half hours and that we were going to pay twelve dollars per hour. So direct materials 280, direct labor 18. And the overhead, we're going to use the overhead rate for the month, which was in our overhead budget. So we did our manufacturing overhead budget here. And when we got to the end, we calculated the estimated overhead rate. And that's what we're going to use. So when we add these together with auto sum, we have $27.04 per unit. So going back to our income statement, I seem to be having a hard time getting to. There we go. Cost of goods sold is going to be the number of units that we sell, which comes from our sales budget over here. Here's our sales budget, and here's January. Times, and we'll go down to, oops, went too far to the cost of goods sold that I just did right here. Now, we're always going to come back to the same cost of goods sold, so we need absolute sell reference, F4. So I hit F4, so you can see in my um, equation, I have H6 times C74, and those dollar signs means I can copy it, and it will always go back to C74. So enter. Gross margin is sales minus cost of goods sold. Now, selling an admin, we'll just pick up from our budget. So that was right up here, right before we did our cash budget, we did the selling and admin expenses budget. And we will use the total here. We need to include depreciation when we do this. Don't pick up the bottom line, but pick up, we're going to pick up this line right here, which I'm going to, oops, can't do. I was going to highlight it, but we're going to pick up that line right there. So we hit enter, and then net income becomes gross margin minus our selling and admin expenses. And in this case, you notice we have a negative 9590. So I'm going to copy these over. Oh, 
for January, February, and March. And then the quarter will be the total. So do auto sum of those. And we can auto sum down. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the gross margin. I'll copy that over so it actually calculates the gross margin, which should be the same. Then this was our selling and admin expenses. So if we take our gross margin minus our selling and admin, overall for the quarter we're going to have a loss of 446. Now that's important because that means if we know that we need to look at maybe ways in which we can be more efficient and do a better job. Anyway, if you want to test your calculations, again remember you can do auto sum of January, February, March and these two totals right here should be the same. Okay, um, I hope that's helped you with the income statement. In the next section and the last section, we'll be doing the balanced budget, the budgeted balance sheet. Thank you for listening.